Uh, greetings, this is a demonstration video to show uh, the basics of starting a drawing in Revit. Now we start with architectural template. It takes a few seconds to load. Position this, there we go, so there's our level zero. Now, our first thing is drawing sheets. If you go to here, you click on new sheet, the window will pop up. You want to load, and then you navigate in the direction of resources, which is in V, resources, Revit resources, and then down here we will find title box. Then you want to find the A1 sheet. There we go. And then that will load, it will upgrade from its original version because obviously we're now drawing in 2014 and I think the template was drawn in 2012. So that is finished. Now have the A1 metric template is now added to our our list. So we say OK, and the sheet appears. Now there are a number of uh, parameters which we need to load into this just to make it complete. So if you go to manage, and then you want to check to see if the shared parameter file exists. Now if it if this if it, this box here has not got these items in then you need to navigate to war you need to browse here towards V backstroke project titles parameters dot txt and load that in and then these four items good. Now that's fine so we say OK. Then we go to project parameters up here. And then as you see this box here is empty so we need to add this little box comes up, we're going to click on shared parameters, we click on select, and then the, this box with these four items come up. Pick the top one, we say OK. We then have to tell it what sort of parameter it is, which is a sheet parameter. So you click on sheet there, you say OK, it's now added to the list. You then keep clicking add and working your way through the list, click on shared parameter here. Just click on select, and we, we, we miss out the scale bar, we don't need that at the moment. Click on site reference, say edit, no sorry, we don't say edit, that's a mistake, ignore that one, say cancel, we say OK, tell us it's a sheet of reference, OK, again that's added, I carry on, we'll just do the, we just do this final one here, that we're going to borrow the loading, shared parameters, select, WCC email, and we say OK, tell it is a sheet. There you go. Say OK, and now we have our three. Just OK. Now those basically mean that more of the functionality of this drawing sheet now works. For example, one of those was the email. So now if you click on email, you know, look, you can now click on there and then you can put in email address. Right. And similarly the rest of the boxes are now editable. Right. Our next piece we need to do is if you've got one and insert a CAD base plan. Or you can draw freehand. The best thing here is to go back to level zero, which is our bottom of our plan. Now you could just draw your plan in freehand in either lines or walls to get the shape started. However, if you have got a base plan, then we might as well insert it. So you go up here to insert, you look for import CAD, the window will pop up and then you need to navigate towards where you've got the CAD. Now I have to have a CAD plan that's on one of my little drives here, so I shall navigate down to it. There we are, Revit Seminar. Revit base plan. Now, down here you will see that the colours 
you can change the colour. If you leave the colours on pres um, preserved, then if the, if it, the lines were drawn in yellow, they would be a bit hard to see on the white background. So it's best at this point to change those to black and white. It will load in all layers. Again, you can select layers you want, delete some, whatever. It units is on auto detect, though you can tell it what units you're using if it's an unusual one or if it fails to register correctly. It's going to put it in the center and it's going to put it at level zero. Make sure all those are right. Make sure you've got that selected and then say open. And then it should load in my base plan, which will appear in the center of here, there. And that's just a flat, flat plan on the top of which we can draw walls. Next, what I want to do is make sure we've got our levels right. So if you go to the elevations tab, pick one of these. Now these you can alter to suit. You can change these, change these dimensions. You can rename these. Just click on them and rename them. And you can add extra ones. If you right click on one of these lines, it will give you the option to create similar. And then you can put another layer in top of the roof or the next level up or whatever and again all these numbers you just type in the boxes and the numbers will change so get that right make sure your levels floor to floor are correct now we go back to level zero now with the walls what you need to do is select a wall type that's most like the wall you actually are going to be building with it's fairly logical um, so you pick a wall now in this instance, I'm going to go for a one brick thick solid wall. Now, here, we can change where it goes to. At the moment, it's just set on a set height, but you can set it so it only goes to level 1 or to level 2 or whatever. So I'm going to select level 1. It's going to be drawn. In his box, I'll let you draw. If you say, finish face exterior, then you can start drawing that, click on the exterior face, and work our way around the walls until we completed the whole structure. Now you can edit this wall type, you can increase its thickness, you can change its materials, all that's very easy, I'll show you that in a moment, let's put this wall all the way around so you get the idea. There we go, now if we look at that in 3D, give it a u new unique name so that we don't edit the original there we go. and then you can click on, hang on, on this that piece here we are this is this our edit box so we can click on edit structure hang on it's going to go back a bit because I think I miss I think you may not have seen a piece I did there so we want to edit type this comes up you want to you duplicate it to rename it, and then you can change the structure. You can insert additional layers, change their thicknesses, and change their material. It's worth experimenting with this because once you learn how to do this, things become cl a lot clearer and easier. But we won't do it, change it for now. I think we'll probably leave it there because it's nice and simple and straightforward. Now, you need to insert, go back to the level plan here. Can insert at this point windows that are more or less roughly the size of the ones you want. You can edit them, you can adjust, edit their type, you can adjust them. We need to have a whole separate lecture on editing families since it's a rather big question design. But for now, go through your existing set of windows and see what you can find that's similar. In most cases, you can adjust, adjust the width and height to produce an opening that's realistically based on what you need. Anyway, yeah, that's all for now. So uh, wait until I shall send you start doing the next one in due course. All the best. Thanks.